Dexcom T7 is here, and in my opinion, it's quite the upgrade from the Dexcom T6. And with this upgrade also comes changes to the setup and the insertion process. And Dexcom G7 is different. So in this video, I'll walk you through how to get started with your Dexcom G7 CGM. That includes everything from inserting the sensor, getting it started in the app, adjusting the alerts, and of course, when and how to change it. In this video, I do not explain the pros and the cons of the Dexcom G7. I already did a video on that. Of course, I would love for you to watch that. This video, however, it's a straightforward how-to. Let's just get the sensor on, get it up and running. So let's do it. You need to download the Dexcom T7 app. Uh, I have an Apple product here, so I'm downloading from the App Store. Just type in Dexcom T7, here it is. And just click Get. It's a free app, so you just download it and it'll be on your phone. Once downloaded, you have to log in. So if you have never used a Dexcom before, you have to create an account. If you have a Dexcom account, I do, you just use that. But first it's gonna come up with this little notification saying it needs to know where you're at. It's just, it needs to know, are you in the US? Are you in another country outside the US? That's fine, just click next. And now you just log in with your credentials. That's your username and your password. And it's gonna come up with this warning. It's the same warning they had for G6. It's never been an issue for me, but I guess I have to say this. You have to agree to their legal policy you have to do that. If not, you can't use the product. So do that here. Then I have to confirm that I'm in the US. Do that by just clicking the confirm button. Okay, so it then imported my settings from the G6, which is pretty nice. It means I don't have to re-enter those. And now it's then gonna give a full overview of how the G7 works. So this is pretty neat. It's gonna give you all the details. Don't worry, I won't show you all of it. But this might be helpful for you to sit down and just watch in your own time. It gives you the overview of all the components, how everything works. Let's fast forward a little bit here so you can see you have to watch all these videos about how the system works. And once you've done that, you also have to say, hey, I'm okay with critical alerts. And then you're ready to start your sensor. So let's unpack the G7 together. So you see it comes as this little box. So it looks like, pull out of the box here. See, this is a sensor as well as the inserter. It's all in one device. Put that to the side. What you'll also find in this package, oops, <laughs> find this package as well as instructions as well, this is an overlay tape. So each sensor comes with an overlay tape. And that's all there is in the box. Let's insert the G7. So you need to insert it before you activate it in the app. So wash your hands, I already did that. Next thing, you wanna clean the area. I'm gonna put it on the arm. I'm gonna clean it with alcohol. Let's just use these cheap swaps from CVS. Let that dry, and then we'll insert the sensor. Okay, let's do it. Are you ready? I'm a little excited about this. So first you wanna unscrew the cap. So we're gonna do that. I just screw that out. See the sensors in there. Can you see the needle? It's there. That's not going to stay in the body. So basically, there's a little button here. So put it on the arm. Okay, push in. Oh, there you go. You can hear the spring, right? Here we go. It didn't hurt at all. So that's good. So they want you to just smoothen down the tape, and they want to want you to hold in the sensor for a bit. You're just going to do that. There you go. And we're ready to pair it in the app. Not the app, click start sensor. Now it's gonna walk you through what I basically just showed you. So just, just scroll all the way down to the bottom. And here you can click next. And then it's gonna say pairing code. You can take a photo, that's just easier. So let's click that. Do you wanna access camera? Yes, please. Click okay. And here you see me taking a photo of my code. And it says, do you want to pair? You have to click pair. Here we go, it's finished. Just click finish. And now the startup period has started. It's 30 minutes, not 24, but I forgot to film that. So 30 minute warm up, guys. And once the 30 minutes are up, you'll get a notification saying, hey, your sensor is ready to send blood sugars to your phone or your receiver. I only use the 
app. So here you go. My first reading, 116. I'll be getting readings for the next 10 days here on my app. To get the most out of your G7, I highly recommend that you set your alerts to whatever works for you. So I have a primer and a sleep schedule, for example, but what's also new is these like quiet modes. So let me just show you this because I think this is really cool. Basically, you set your phone to vibrate for up to six hours or forever instead of actually having an alarm sound. So you just, if you turn that on, you can see here, you can set the duration and you can set duration to whatever you want it to. So that is really cool and that is new, but let's go in under my primary here. If you click high or low for that matter, but I'm going to start on high. What I think is worth looking at is the sound vibrate for the, as the first one, because you can set the sound to be, you know, vibrate. You can set to match your phone settings or to be something specific. Use that. And you can also choose whatever sound works best for you. I just have the regular high alert here. But let's go back. The other new thing is the delayed first alert, which is pretty darn cool. So if you set that on, you can, for example, I have it for an hour here. That means that if my blood sugar is over, you see my high is 160. If mine is over 160 for an hour, then the alarm will sound. Not right away. The other thing is snooze. Again, you can set that to whatever you want, but you set it so that it fits you and your lifestyle. After 10 days, you'll get this warning uh, showing on your phone saying, hey, sensor life is up. As you can see, it's not actually a 10 day sensor, it's a 10 day and 12 hour sensor. You now have a 12 hour grace period to change the sensor and you'll get more alerts. Here we got the two hour alert. And once the 10 days and 12 hours are over, uh, it will stop sending blood sugar readings to your phone or if you're using the receiver to the receiver and it will be time to put on a new sensor. There you go. And that is how you get started with the Dexcom T7. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like below and leave me a comment. Also, if you'd like to see more content from me, remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. That is that little bell. That way you'll be informed whenever I post new content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.